Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here to work on Project 100. And what I'm doing today is I'm going to cut apart my digital files that are in each kit and I'm going to add some cardstock. So what I did before I started the video, I chose five page kits and instead of me walking back and forth, back and forth, getting some cardstock, I've already chosen the cardstock. And just to kind of go through, we did the papers, we did the embellishments, and now step three is to cut the digital files and add the cardstock. Once we have that done, or quite a bit of them done, then we'll go through and add washies and sketches. And last time I added a sketch every second page, and I might do that again. And the, the reason I like to add the sketches before I choose the photos is then by the time I get to the photos, when I get to that page kit, I can go, oh, that has, you know, four photos. So I know to put four photos in there. So we're already on step three. And this is page kit number 13, I believe. And the goal is to make 60. <laughs> Now, as far as with the embellishments and stuff, let me see. I had that here somewhere. Did I move that? Did I lose that? It. We have 31. I don't know what I did with that because that was the old. Oh, there it is. We have 31. And I put October on there so I know that that's what we're working on. So we have 31 that we have the pattern papers and the embellishments. So we're halfway there. We're halfway there. And I plan on doing 10 a week for the entire month of September. And that should pretty much bring me right to what I need to be. I think I'm going to have, I'd be at like 52, but I didn't think I was at, I don't think I knew I was at like 31. So it might bring me right to what I need. I thought I only had like 20. So that's gonna that's gonna work out perfectly. And then in the month of October, you know, by now till the end of October, what I plan on doing is having if I make 10 page kits a week. I plan on getting the digital files cut for those 10 too. So it's just, instead of trying to do 20 page kits in one week, you know, it, it kind of, your brain kind of gets tired. So if I kind of move on to the next step with some of them, then it's going to make it easier. And what I did this year, because last year what I did was, I did the pattern paper all at once, and then I did all the embellishments all at once. And then when I got to cutting the digital files, I was only able to get 10 done. And then I, I, I still got 42 page kits or 42 pages done, which is amazing. But I figure if I have all of these cut out, can you imagine how much you know, I'll probably get all 60 done. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking without, you know, stressing too, too much. Now, I kind of have to say, okay, we're going to start Friday at three. I'm not one to stay up till two o'clock in the morning. I, I just can't, right? After a while, I'm no longer creative. If it takes me two hours to make a page, I might as well go to bed, <laughs> right? So what I'm going to do is say, okay, 11 or midnight, that's my cutoff. So if from 3 to 11 or midnight, if I can do 12 done that first day, because it's, it's not a big day, the next day, make it so that I'm downstairs by 8 o'clock, and then go again, probably only till 10 that night, because I'll be getting up early. So that's still you know, 14 hours. So if I can do close to 30 pages that day, so that'll be, I'll be at my 42. And then Sunday, then I can 
do like 18 pages and then that'll be my 60 pages because I'll get up at eight again and go till, I think it goes till four. And then I'll get, I'll get all those done. And if I don't, it's not a big deal. All it means is that I'm going to have pages that are ready to go in my scrap room. Now, as soon as we're done these 60, because my goal, it's still at Project 100, it's still a goal to have 100 page kits ready to go. Because if I had 100 pages ready to go right now, and all I'd have to do is step, let's say, uh, four and on, because four and on is, you know, to add the washi tape, add the sketches, which I don't think, you know, if, if it's just for pages for my scrap room, I don't think I'd want to add, you know, washi tape and sketches and the photos, because I don't like photos to sit in a page kit for too long because the, then they're not scrapped, right? But if I have the pattern papers and the embellishments, if I have a hundred of those page kits done, and then let's say, you know, I hear of a day crop and I hear about it on Thursday and it's like, hey, did you want to come? You know, it's just a day crop. It's 20 bucks. You can scrap all day, whatever. And I have nothing else planned. All I have to do is add the photos. And, you know, even if I don't do the journaling, it's not a big deal because I'm only there for the day and I just do X amount. And then I can do the journaling when I get home. You know, if I only have one day, at least I don't have to say, okay, well, I have to take three quarters of my craft room and that just feels overwhelming to me. And no, I, I, I you know, I have too much packing to do to get there. So not going to happen. But if I have them ready, even if the digital files aren't cut, that's, that would be, you know, a big deal. At least if I have page kits ready then I can just go to a day thing like that or if a friend says hey do you want to scrap at my house you know or whatever the case may be or if I just feel like saying hey I'm gonna have a weekend this weekend where I am just going to scrap 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 just on my own just sit down and just do a whole bunch of scrapping. I, I'm ready to go, right? Okay. And, you know, it's this is not something that's difficult to do. You know, cutting the digital files at all. And sometimes it didn't, didn't really bother me to do this in between the pages because it kind of gave me about 10 minutes to kind of look at the embellishments that I have and then go, okay, what do I want to do with this, right? It's just when you're doing 40 pages and I only had, I think, 12 of them that I had pre-cut, I had... 30 page kits that I had to cut apart. <laughs> so that was a lot. That was a lot. So this way, I'm hoping, I already have more ready as far as the digital, cutting the digital files than what I brought with me the last time. Because I think it, I had 12 and this is number 14. So already I'm winning, right? Already I'm winning. I already have more cut apart and I think we're going in five weeks, six weeks. It's a while, it's still a while away. So if I say, so let's say if it's five weeks and I say I'm gonna cut apart 10 of them a week, that's another 50 or that's 50, including these, I guess. 
So then I'll have all of them done without me stressing the week of to try to do 30 or 40 of them. I do not want that. That's what I tried to do last time. And I ran out of time. And you know how it is. You know, you want to go away for the weekend. You want to make sure your house is all in order. So that's extra stuff that you need to do that week. You know, even though you clean your house every week, the the day that you leave, you want to make sure that everything is, is all kind of taken care of. So I want to make sure that I leave time for that. And there's the packing. And I don't do, I don't bring a lot of stuff, I have to say. I usually pack the night before because I work, you know. I make pages pretty much till the day that I leave. We usually leave pretty early, about 10 o'clock in the morning. Because it's my friend that puts it together. And I like to help her out because it's... It's a lot, you know. The tables are all arranged for us when we get there, so that's huge. But there's uh, stuff to bring in, so we gotta bring in all the stuff. We gotta set up all, you know, she offers classes and stuff, so we gotta take out all the stamp sets and the this and the that. So it takes a minute. It takes a minute. So it's nice to have it to be there, be early, and then we can go. And we usually go to Costco after we're done. And then we go uh, to like a Thai place. And then we get, we're creatures of habits, aren't we? <laughs> we always get that for lunch or supper. Like lupper, <laughs> lunch and supper. And then we're ready to, you know, we go to Costco and then we're ready to go. We go to Starbucks. We got to get our Starbucks. And then we're ready to go. Then when everybody gets there, we're already all set up. And then we have to set up our own stuff too, right? So I bring my, get all my stuff ready. And then when everybody gets there, then we get going. We start. And what I like at those things, you know, if I come up here and I scrap, we were talking about that. I think it was in the last live. You got to stop and you got to make supper, right? And then there's laundry and then there's this and then there's that. When you go away like that, all you have to worry about is scrapbooking. That's it. You order food and, you know, you get up, you eat, and then you come back. There's no dishes. There's no nothing. And then you scrap till it's time to go to bed. And then you go to bed. You got no chores to do. And then the next morning, you get up again and you do it all over again. Okay, so there's not too, too many digital files because I'm going to use a lot of collections, which I like, which I like. Now, what I might do, I don't usually like to bring some digital files, but I might bring my butterflies. I don't think I put any butterflies on any of them. You know what? I should do that now. And then that way I can cut them apart, right? Because then I'd have to cut those apart when I get there. And I can add foam and then I don't have to bring a big roll of foam. I can just bring a small roll of foam instead of a big one. So that, that might be something I should do. I'm gonna cut these apart. And then again, if I use the butterflies, great. And if I don't, it's not a big deal. But I think I'd like the option. 
I think because I was using a lot of um, embellishments that came with kits or collections, I just wanted the base. Another thing I think I'd like to do, maybe I should do that, is when I choose the photos, take out my scrapbooking words and then add words because I love to put words in my clusters. But I need to know what the pictures are. So I always forget to do that. So I'm going to put scrap words. So when I do the photos, I'm going to choose some scrapbooking words. See, I always add this to this. I always, you know, tweak it and make it better. So I kind of like that. But right now, I think I'm going to, I don't want to bring that whole file of butterflies. That's just too much. And I like to use my little owls too. And I like the little flowers. So I don't know, maybe I can do some kits where I'm gonna put some butterflies, some kits where I'm gonna put, I'm just thinking the flowers because we did quite a few flower gardens. So I think it'd be fun to put some of our flowers in there too. And of course, butterflies. What are more abundant than, you know, butterflies in a flower garden? <laughs> I only thought of my, the butterflies because of these right here. Because of those. Okay. A lot of times I don't like to cut the little arrows because I lose them. Almost every time I lose at least one. And I don't even know how that happens. It just does. I lose them. I don't know if I end up putting them in the trash and just chucking them. Or when I take the kit out of the plastic bag. If, if I, you know, accidentally dump it on the floor. Not really sure but I always do it. I almost thought to, you know, to put these embellishments in a small baggie, but that's, you know, one more, one more thing <laughs> that I'd have to do. So I'm just going to go with it. And if I lose arrows, I lose arrows. And then I just put two instead of three. Just go with the flow. Okay, and I'm trying to get rid of the garbage at all at, at, you know, as soon as I finish a page kit. And then I have less chance of throwing good stuff that way. Okay. I had said butterflies. Let's get these. I think for these, there's blue, purple, yellow, think think that's another one that I need to print and I don't even have it on the list here I'm gonna have tons to print this afternoon I'm gonna put blue pretty sure I need brown okay I don't have a lot of brown. <laughs> I only have a couple. But here I was thinking maybe purple. I could put on this page kit. There's the big purple. Is there the smaller purple? Yes. Not a lot of that left either. No, I have a little bit of brown. And what else? Maybe yellow, purple and yellow would be cute. 
Oh, I have more brown here. That's okay. I know I'm going to be using quite a bit of them. So I'm going to do some yellow. I really like the... I always seem to gravitate towards the light of these files. See in the purple one, I don't even have any of the light left. I really gravitate towards that color. I think I am going to do purple because there's not a lot left there. Purple. So we have, we need one more. One more and I think I want like a larger butterfly. So I'll do this one. Now the first, what, two of them, I didn't put anything, any butterflies in there. And I see pink here. I see pink. And let me see. Let's get some pink here. Because I think that previous one was pink. And the one before that, I could do brown. Okay, so let's do pink here. And I'm gonna have to cut all of these up. <laughs> so that's gonna take a minute too. So let's do one, two, three. Let's do a big one. Four. And let's do this size, five. Pretty sure there's brown in this. Let me see. Oh, I could do yellow. Yeah, I can do yellow. Yellow and brown, maybe? Okay. Let's do one. Let's do two, let's do three, let's grab some yellow, here's four, I don't think I have any small blue ones left, oh, they're very dark, that's okay, we'll do one blue, Maybe another yellow, like a colorful one, this size. Okay, yay. Okay, so that's gonna take a minute. Let's move these butterflies out of the way. And I'm gonna do them right away. And before I forget, let's, get, let's grab the foam because we'll put foam in behind them right away and we'll get that done. Now I leave a little white edge around it. I just find it um, easier to cut out. Moira, if you haven't checked her out here on YouTube, Moira O'Reilly, she cuts it. She's patient. <laughs> She cuts it directly on the black line. And I just love the way the butterflies pop on her layout. So you can do either or. You can make it so that you cut directly on the black line. I haven't checked to see if she cuts off the little um, antennas if she cuts off the little antennas or not. I'm not sure. Because you could cut off the antennas and then just use like um, a little wire and put them back. Like if you wanted to cut, you know, directly on the black line, you can cut around it too. Okay. 
Now, I have a live tomorrow and I still don't have my photos. They're there. We just did not have time on the weekend to go get them. Because Mason was in a hockey tournament. So, we just... Didn't have a chance to go get them. And then we were going to go yesterday morning, but we came home fairly early and the store only opened at nine. So I'm going to have to go get them tonight. I don't really have a choice, but that means maybe I should go this afternoon. Because if I go tonight, that means I can't prep the pages, right? It's like tomorrow morning. I mean, I did the page kits, don't get me wrong, but just decide, you know, these photos are gonna go with this page kit and all that stuff. I could do that tomorrow morning. If we get here at eight o'clock in the morning, I can get them done. It's just one of those things that, um, to me, that's the part that goes really quickly. I never have a problem adding photos to my page kits. I always find photos fairly quickly that I can go, hey, I can, I can put this on this page kit, no problem. Okay, should have decided to put I mean, whether I cut them right now or I cut them when I had the kit out, it's still taking the same amount of time. It's just now I'm going to be doing 50,000 butterflies all at once. <laughs> Not exaggerating or anything. That's okay. <clears throat> Maybe I'll get into the groove and get this done. Oh my goodness, last Thursday we talked about how one of my favorite Halloween movies of all time, one of my favorite movies of all time is Hocus Pocus with uh, Bette Midler, Jess, Sarah Jessica Parker, and Kathy, I can't say her last name. And that was made like 20 years ago. Well, Hocus Pocus 2 is coming out on Disney Plus on September 30th. They were talking about making this for years, and at first they were like, no, we're not going to get the original actresses in it, you know. And everybody was like, outraged. It was like, what do you mean? They are hocus pocus. And especially, you know, they're still all acting. So it is coming on September 30th. And the three original actresses are in it. And this morning, I was watching the trailers for it. Oh, and I was, I watched one where it was the three of them and it was their reaction to the trailer. It was just, it was awesome. I can't wait. So what I'm going to do is on September 29th, I'm going to be watching <clears throat> um, Hocus Pocus 1. And then on September 30th, I am watching... Hocus Pocus 2, for sure. No ifs, ands, or but. It's happening. <clears throat> I am so happy to be watching that. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I'm a pretty big reader. And for some reason, I am in a major, 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 major reading slump. Like, so bad. So, so bad. I am probably 15 books behind schedule. Usually I read 100 books a year. And I, I think I'm halfway there. I think I have 52 books read or something like that. But I haven't read in weeks. I don't think I've read since we came home. Maybe 50 pages since we came home. That's it. So I definitely need to start reading again. What I'm doing a lot of is watching a lot of TV. So 
or movies, which when I read a lot, I don't watch a lot of TV at all because I'm reading. So I think I'm just going to have to say, okay, you can't, you can't watch TV anymore or movies, you know. I watched series galore. On Apple Plus, I watched The Morning Show with Jennifer Aniston and Renee Zellweger. I watched Big Little Lies, season two. I watched um, Scorpion, all four season. Oh, I watched um, something else. I watched the entire season and it was a lot. It was like five seasons at 20 episodes each. What was that? Oh, A Million Little Things. Oh, that was so good. I've been wanting to watch that for years. Like we missed on, on, on TV, we missed the first few episodes. Like we didn't tape them. And I have to watch stuff from the beginning. I cannot watch a show from midpoint. I have to watch it from the beginning. So I was like, nope. Especially nowadays, it's so easy to, you know, go and get stuff from the beginning. So this summer was the summer. I watched the entire five seasons. It's probably my favorite show of all time. Now, for some reason, we stopped watching This Is Us, I think on season three, maybe three. This year is the last season. Like, it, there won't be any more. I think they're doing one more season is what it is. So I got to go back and kind of finish that. There's a few shows like that too. Grimm, we watched, I think the first four seasons and then we stopped watching it and we love the show. Again, we missed like our recorder didn't record one and it's like, nope. So now I got to go back and watch those. I don't think I finished watching the Vampire Diaries too. Hello. And then there's the other one, the uh, the originals. That too, I think I only watched like the first two seasons or something. So I got to go finish that. See, that's not going to help with my reading. <laughs> and it's so silly because I'm enjoying, I was enjoying what I read. Like I started reading It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey. I read like 75 pages the first day that I read it. I was really enjoying it. And then I put it down and I never went back to it. I'm reading The uh, Deviant by Jay Kristoff. It's book number two. I'm enjoying it. Every time I pick it up, I, I enjoy it. But I just got to make it a priority. I got to make a priority. I have an agenda, so I need to kind of work it out and say this day, you know, I'm, I'm doing scrapbooking pages and then just go to town and just do that and really kind of not schedule when I'm going, well, maybe I should, I was going to say I shouldn't schedule when I'm going to edit them because usually what I do is whatever day I film the video, that night I edit it. So I'll put, you know, after a full day in the craft room, my back just kills. So then I'll put heat on my back and I'll spend three hours editing videos. <laughs> and then I usually upload them where they belong right away. And schedule them. I love that you can schedule stuff on a lot of places. You know, on YouTube, you can schedule them weeks and weeks ahead. On Patreon, you can schedule stuff. Like right now, you know, it's September 7th. And I have every video scheduled for Patreon already. It's up there. And ready to go. I think the only thing I have left to put up there is a couple 
digital files because they get free digital files. I got the first one done for this week. Now I just have to go because what I have to do is I have to go and see what they've already gotten, right? And then, then I'll add the digital files. Last week they got the new mint license plate. Okay. Okay. So we're down to our last ones. I don't know if I'll do butterflies in the last two. <laughs> I think I'll just do whatever is in there. And then, I don't know. I don't want to have to take some with me. So maybe when I add the scrapbooking words, I can just put butterflies there too. Although I'm adding myself extra work at that end. Although when I add the photos, it's a pretty quick session. I can do quite a bit. So, you know, if I add just cutting out the scrapbooking words and the butterflies, then it'll keep this part not as long because cutting the butterflies do take a long time. And with, when you add it with all the other digital files, right? But if all I'm adding is photos and words, then just cutting the butterflies or the owls. I think I'd like to do owls too. And like I said, flowers, I'd like to do flowers. Okay. So this is the kind of stuff that I would put an audio book on or even a YouTube video, you know, you could actually be listening to me doing this and cutting out some digital files and it's going to save time when you actually put the page together. Now I don't do this step when I make, you know, kits for my scrap room because normally you know, on a normal day, I'll do two, maybe three pages in a day, you know? So I'll, I'll just cut them up when I'm putting the page together. Or I have these trays and what I'll do is you know, the day before, let's say I, I'll do my two or three pages, then I still feel like doing something, but I'm not really sure what to do. I'll take out a few page kits, cut everything apart, choose the photos and everything, choose, you know, the challenge or whether it's going to be a sketch or a technique, whatever the case may be. And then I put it on a tray. So then the next morning when I come in my scrap room, I'm, I'm ready to go. Like I am ready to go. Okay, so I kind of caught up here. I did three page kits and I don't think I'll do the butterflies for the rest. But just know that at some point I'll probably add butterflies arrows and or you know not butter not arrows butterflies owls or flowers in these page kits to take with me and I'll probably show you some of that because I'm gonna you know kind of show you the process of adding the photos definitely So after this week, I should have close to 20 page kits done that I've cut the digital files. So I think I'll have enough to move on to the next step, which is adding um, sketches and washies. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a recipe card in all the page kits. And instead of throwing the washi in there, because what I like to do is try to use the same washi on several layouts and then I don't have to bring as many washies. And then that way, when I start the page kit, I can look and say, oh yeah, I wanted to use this washi. Doesn't mean that I'm gonna use a washi on every single layout. Usually I only end up using washies on maybe five layouts, five or six layouts, but at least I have the option, you know, because I don't have all my stuff with me. I have to make sure that I kind of bring almost everything that I might need. So what I usually do is I bring my tiny inks. I bring those so I can um, ink the edges of everything. So I bring some of that. Now I might bring this time, I might bring um, a little bit more of mixed media stuff. And what I can do is, you know, do sort of the background kind of set that page aside, start another page, you know, maybe with a sketch and get it done. And then once that background is dry, then I can um, finish that layout. So then maybe I can do a little bit of um, mixed media. Not too much, just a little bit. So I've got to remember to bring maybe the paste and some crayons and some stencils, right? And then we'll get that done. Okay, let's get this. Now that I have this under this light, I don't like that color at all. So I'm going to have to, that's what I find. Um, the lights in my craft room, like my craft room is well lit, like well lit, but it's a different kind of light than the lights that I have under, th you know, this. This gives me the true colors and where I pick the cardstock it's not true colors. So what looks good over there, I bring it here and I'm like, ooh, that doesn't look good. So I'm gonna have to go back. I'm gonna finish these arrows. I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna go find, hopefully, the right color. And that's why usually I come over here and I stick it under the light to see if it's a good match. Okay. Now I think today I'm just gonna do five. This is certainly taking a long time. And then I'll wait a couple of days or maybe even tomorrow afternoon after I'm done the live, maybe, because I won't feel like making pages for sure. So maybe I can, you know, cut some digital files apart because I need to get 10 done this week. No ifs, ands, or buts. Okay, so I'm gonna go look for a cardstock for this. Then we'll come back with the last page. Okay, so this is the last page for this session. And I don't have too, too much to cut apart here. So let's get this done. And it'll feel good to have. I think this is page kit 17, so that means I have 17 that are ready for the next step. So by next week, we're gonna start putting the sketches and, you know, the, the next step. Sketches and washies. Okay. Then what I'll do is I'll take a little container, because this is a long ways away. 
and I'll put the washi rolls in them and I'll keep them there until it's time to pack up. So, you know, if I want to use them on a layout, I can take it out of that thing, but then, or that container, but then put it right back. But I have enough washies that even if I don't touch those washies for a month, it's not going to be a big deal. Okay. All that's left are these arrows. And then we're going to call it good for today. Getting this done. Another movie I watched last night, which was with um, Jennifer Lopez, which I'd never seen it. It was, it's called An Unfinished Life. It was really good. I watched it on um, Netflix. And then I watched another one. I think that one's a newer one, but it's called Love in the Villa. <clears throat> and it was all surrounded like Romeo and Juliet and like in Italy. And it, it was cute. It was a kind of a cute, cheesy movie, but it was cute. <laughs> I enjoyed that. Enjoyed it quite a bit. But again, didn't read. Watched, you know, two movies and one amazing race. That's what I did last night. So I'm going to have to say, no, you have to read first for an hour when I first go to bed because after I've been in bed for a while, then I'm just too tired. Or maybe I should do like I used to and read in the afternoon. But I've been editing videos in the afternoon. So, but maybe I should say block out an hour and do that. Okay. There we go. So now that my Patreon videos are done, I'm working on, you know, videos for YouTube so I can pre-schedule them because I really enjoyed that while we were gone. Like, I didn't have to worry. There was just videos going up twice a week. And now I don't have any ahead of time. So I'm going to be working on that for sure. I'm going to be doing a live every week. So that's going to count as, you know, one video uploaded because it's going to be a live every week. So if I can do make page kits, that's what I'm going to be focusing on for the next little bit because I need to get those 60 page kits done. Okay, this was the last arrow. So that's it. I'm going to stop it here. And then we're going to keep plugging away and making sure that we have 60 page kits to go to my crop. And I want to thank you so much for watching. Bye.